guys, it's Janice from Ozark Family Homestead, and I got to go grocery shopping today. So not only it's my birthday, but my grocery budget got reinstated. So Sean got paid, and I'm back to a full grocery budget that's $1,100 for the nine of us for the whole month, and that covers groceries and all of our household goods, too. And so I'm going to take you through everything on these tables. We had to set up a card table because I didn't have enough room on my big table. I'm going to go through. I went to Ten Box, Aldi, Kroger, and Walmart. I'm going to show you what I got and why I got it there. I did my price comparisons, guys. And if you see that I bought a specific item at a specific store, it's because the price was the best at that store that I got it at. So I had my receipts, and I had my price list, and we are going to get to going through this big old pile. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to start off at 10 Box. Now, 10 Box is just a small little local area store for me, and I only go in there for sale items. So this week, I only purchased two uh, sale items at 10 Box, and I wanted to show you those. These green peppers down here, they were selling for 38 cents a piece, and I took all they had. All they had was five little peppers left. So I took them all, 38 cents each. The cherries, look how beautiful they are, you guys. They are so pretty, I'm telling you. The cherries were on sale for $2.97 a pound, which is great. I mean, that is a great deal. And I may even go back tomorrow and get some more, actually. Um, children are waiting for me to finish this video because I told them that they could get into one of the bags of cherries as soon as Mama was done with the video. So, now the way 10 Box works, if you're not familiar with it, is that you get the sale prices, and when you go check out at the register, they will add a 10% upcharge. So when I'm figuring up my sale prices, I make sure it is still a good deal even with that 10% added on. And both of these items were still very good deals. They had two other items I did not purchase that were still a good deal. They had split fryer chicken breast for 92 cents a pound and the 73% ground beef for $2.74 a pound. So this is all that I got at 10 box today, but next we're moving on to Aldi, and that is where the majority of my items were purchased. We will hit that pile next. Okay, Anna, what do you want? <laughs> you can have one bag of the cherries. Bye. And they're gone. Okay. And I did almost forget, too, to tell you my grand total at 10 box just for the peppers and those two bags of cherries was $16.87. Okay, Aldi, Aldi, Aldi. Oh, look at all my Aldi things. Okay, now there were some things that I did end up getting at Aldi that I hadn't planned on it, but that is because, again, I had my handy dandy price list with me where I had my items and I checked, I compared the prices at Walmart or Sam's Club or Azure Standard to see what was the price to beat. And when I was in Aldi, I was looking at the item, I was looking at my list, and if the Aldi price was better than the price to beat on my list, I snatched it up at Aldi. Here are the things I ended up getting. Okay, the black tea back here. I thought I might get it at Walmart, but nope, it was a better deal at Aldi. Pineapple chunks, I went ahead and got four of those. Uh, three containers of the peanuts, uh, the green tea. I ended up getting these three little packets of green tea. I thought I was going to get a better deal at Sam's Club on those, but nope, I ended up finding the better deal at Aldi. Now here, let me pause and tell you all real quick. What I'm doing here with this once a month grocery shopping haul is basically just refilling my pantry. Very few things here on this table are specialty items for specialty meals that I have in a meal rotation. These are just things I keep on hand in my home and as long as I have a well-stocked pantry at the beginning of the pay period, I can make just about anything that's in my cookbook meal rotation that we typically do. So 
These are not specialty items. Okay, so we'll continue. I did the peanuts, the black tea, the four pineapple chunks, and the three boxes. Yeah, there's a third box of green tea there. The chicken noodle soup. We have just been sick. I still have a residual cough here, but we are all finally well. I was going to restock chicken noodle, chicken noodle soup at Walmart, but Aldi had the better price per ounce, so I went with that. Uh, taco shells, I needed four boxes to restock my pantry. The turkey pepperoni, I needed three bags to restock. One little lonely ketchup there from Aldi. The yellow potatoes, I had price compared it and I thought I was going to get them at Sam's Club. They had a big eight pound bag that looked to be a good deal, but nope. Price per pound at Aldi was better. Parmesan cheese, I keep these four on hand. Mushrooms, I keep one on hand. The cheese, this is one of the exceptions. The best price on sliced Colby Jack cheese is at Sam's Club, a big two pound package. However, we are going to be taking sandwiches with us on our way to Sam's Club. So I bought one of these at Aldi just to make our sandwiches. And then when we do go to Sam's Club, I'm going to get the best price on the two pound package at Sam's Club. I also picked up bananas, three packages, three baggies of the egg noodles that we use for beef stroganoff. I bought a whole flat of the tomato sauce at Aldi. Keep this on hand. I can make pizza sauce. I can make spaghetti sauce. I can do all kinds of things with just plain old tomato sauce. We restocked on our tortilla chips. I've got four bags of those. Paper towels back here. I've been getting it at Walmart in the past. This month, it was a better deal at Aldi. So I went ahead and bought some paper towels there. The romaine lettuce is a specialty item I do not normally keep on hand, but I'm making a seven layer salad for Father's Day. So romaine lettuce made it in my cart this week. Three of the big cans of crushed tomatoes. Again, a better deal at Aldi. And then the honey here too. I keep a good stock of both squirt honey is what I call these and then big jugs of Azure Standard gallon jug honey that I can just spoon out. But we like the spoonable kind for recipes. That's what I use to bake my bread with. There's a whole video on me baking my bread. And, but I like the squirt honey just to go on toast or something like that. So we do both. And again, best deal at Aldi. I even compared it to Sam's Club. Aldi is the better deal. Frozen broccoli. Uh, price compared it to Walmart. Aldi is the better deal on the frozen broccoli. Uh, the bread here is a specialty item. Again, we're taking sandwiches with us on that big trip to Sam's Club over the weekend. And so I picked one of these up for those sandwiches. Some celery. Uh, the frozen green beans. The best deal is Aldi. The oven roasted almonds. Let's see. Did I skip the baking soda? Five of these boxes of baking soda we use both for cooking and for cleaning. I don't buy cleaning supplies. You won't notice cleaning supplies on this at all. Uh, corn chips. And then I always keep just an assortment of chips in the pantry for just in case. These are not things that we eat on a regular basis. But if we have company over, I have snacky things that we can pull out to feed to company. So I always keep some of these on hand. Uh, cream cheese, did a price comparison both at Sam's Club and even Walmart had the, the two-pack bundles of their great value. Aldi price uh, beats them. I believe I had planned to get the two-pack bundles at Walmart, but Aldi had theirs on markdown when I got there. And because I had my handy-dandy price list with me, I knew, hey, that Aldi markdown price actually beats the Walmart price that I had on here. I'm not even sure where did I have it. Cream cheese, yep. The two pack that was at Walmart for $2.86. I got a better deal because I want to say, was it $1.39? I don't remember exactly that they had a markdown sticker there at Aldi. Um, I go ahead and keep two coffee creamers. Now, you guys know. We own a dairy cow. I get lots of cream from Daisy, my dairy cow. But I keep these on hand for whenever we uh, host church gatherings. 
just other people that may not like raw cream so I do keep these on hand and oh my goodness that's already my Aldi haul that's that went fast maybe I talked super fast <laughs> but I'm about to move on to the Kroger haul let me look at my receipt here so all these things at Aldi here we go do 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 came to a grand total of $201.19. So, but again, my uh, stepping into Aldi for the remainder of the month should only be for sale items and an occasional specialty item if we're having a gathering with friends or something like that. Otherwise, this should be the vast, vast majority of all my Aldi shopping. So, we're going to move on to Kroger and Walmart next. Okay, you guys, now compared to Aldi, Kroger just looks so little. Look at that cheese, cheese, and what? An Amazon gift card there. So yeah, it's a puny little haul from Kroger, but this one's exciting. I do like this one. Okay, so let's go to the, the uh, bar cheese, the block cheese here first. Uh, Kroger had a sale this week with their digital coupon. The one pound blocks of the Kroger brand cheese were $3.49. There was a limit of five, so of course I bought five that I could get. And with this sale price, it is a better deal than what uh, is my normal price to beat at Walmart. So I went ahead and purchased the five. Now this sliced cheese here, I ended up having a free coupon. They sent me a free paper coupon for this free sliced cheese. So I got this one for absolutely free. Okay, the Amazon gift card. If you've watched any of my grocery hauls in the past, you will know that occasionally Kroger will run gift card deals where you get four times the fuel points whenever you purchase a gift card um, through Kroger. Now, I already know I am going to be making a big purchase through Amazon here soon, like this week. We're buying the woven weed fabric for our garden, and it's going to be a couple hundred dollars. So this gift card here has $300 loaded onto it. So not only am I getting four times the fuel points, I am also getting Discover card points. I paid for my Kroger haul with my Discover card. So my products that I'm going to need to order from Amazon are now paid for because I've spent the money already on the gift card. Let me look at my receipt here and see the fuel points that I received today. 1,233 fuel points. So I am going to use those to get really good deals on my next fill up on my big 15 passenger mama van. And this is going to help with that. But in the long run, too, I'm also going to get Discover Card points where I can get uh, deals on gift cards there as well. So I feel like I'm double dipping or triple dipping, however you want to look at it, on the good deals with Kroger there. Now, my grand total at Kroger was $318.45. Keep in mind, $300 of that is sitting right here. And this is not part of my grocery budget. This is something we're using for our homestead, which is a totally separate budget. So what is actually coming out of my grocery budget this month from Kroger this week is the $18.45. So that is all that I have spent out of the grocery budget in Kroger this week. So the last one I'll move on to here is Walmart. And these are the best of the best deals at Walmart. And we'll go through those next. And last but not least, the Walmart pile. Okay, again, if you have watched our uh, previous once a month grocery haul videos, you will know we use a lot of this frozen ground turkey that I make up my own sausage seasoning, which a video is coming on that. I promise, promise it is. I make up my own sausage seasoning and I use this frozen ground turkey to make up our own sausage. So we do go through quite a bit of this. 
I went ahead and stocked up on 14 of these to, again, just refill, refill my stockpile that I keep in my pantry. Some months this is cheaper at Aldi. This month it was cheaper at Walmart. So that's why I bought all of it at Walmart. The tissues. Remember how we were all sick? Now I'm telling you, when nine people all get yucky noses at the same time, we do literally blow through more tissues than you can even imagine. So it was time to restock our tissues. So I bought two boxes of those and Walmart was the best price per tissue. Yes, I broke it down. I divided it up. So what is the best price per tissue? This is one of the only times you will see me buy a brand name item. And again, that is because I'm particular. I want the plus lotion. Really, the only time we're using tissues is when we are down with some hardcore nose issues. And in order to keep noses from getting raw and red, I like that plus lotion. And so that's why I go with the brand name here. Typically, you won't see that in most of my grocery items here. Okay, red onions. I was totally out of red onion last month. I wiped it out on that cucumber tomato salad that I made up. So I bought two of those. Again, best price for individual onions was at Walmart. I don't need a whole bag of onions, so this is the best price. The frozen peas, I like getting frozen items at Aldi, but Walmart was the best price. The artichoke carts, I keep a stockpile of these on hand. I make that uh, pasta house salad. It's the copycat recipe that pasta house uses at their restaurant. And everybody loves it when I take it to gathering, so I always keep a stockpile of this on hand. Uh, the cheeses. Again, if you've watched previous grocery hauls, you know Walmart is my price to beat, normally, unless there's a sale at Kroger, <laughs> on cheeses. So I went ahead and picked up, this is all the mozzarella cheese I needed to refill my stockpile for the month. And this is the remainder that I needed of cheddar after I had already gotten the maximum five that I could get at Kroger. We do go through a lot of cheddar cheese. So we don't buy cheese sticks, we don't buy shredded cheese. So this, we go through a lot of cheddar. And the final Walmart item was the carrots. I looked at them at Aldi, I looked at them at Sam's Club, and uh, Walmart had the best price if I purchased the five pound bundle of carrots. And these will last in my fridge for the entire month. I actually contemplated getting two because two months ago I ran out of fresh carrots. But I also bought canned carrots just in case I were to run out of fresh again. If I run out of fresh, I have canned carrots on the shelf in my pantry, so we'll be okay. Look at me gambling over here on this one five-pound bag of carrots. I just feel like a wild woman over here with one bag of carrots. <laughs> okay, my Walmart Grand total at Walmart. And again, my grocery budget includes uh, household items too. So the tissues are coming out of the grocery budget, just like the paper towels came out over here with Aldi as well. So grand total at Walmart was $125.29. So at this point, what we're gonna do, we're gonna sit down together and I'm gonna go over exactly how much I spent today what has come out of my $1,100 $1, a month grocery budget and what I have left and what I anticipate spending the remainder on for the rest of this pay period. So we'll go over the numbers next. Okay, the family has already jumped in here and they've put away the frozen stuff and the cold stuff and stuff is getting put away at this point i wanted to show you real quick since today is my birthday the little blessings that i've been given today so they just make me smile a friend came by and brought me these beautiful flowers today i love yellow roses first of all they are my favorite 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 you sneaking hey, in what you sneaking in here you saw a toothy cow you saw a toothy cow is that what it said yeah wow you saw a toothy cow and survived so she brought me some beautiful flowers and they made me smile today sarah had made me some sugar free aren't they beautiful sugar free salted caramel cupcakes for my birthday 
So I'm so happy about that. And then I've gotten some cute cards from two little girls here in this house. Let me see. This one's this one's from Anna, isn't it? I love you, Mama. I love, 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 love you, Mama. <laughs> and there's me. Is that chicks and ducks? Mm -hmm. Yes, because I like chicks and ducks. Mama. Yes. <laughs> and they're in the incubator now. From Anna. And now, Abigail, when Abigail draws pictures, okay, so there's Abigail with her pretty long hair. This is me wearing my birthday hat on top of my little bun thing. It's a French twist. She always makes me with a cute little bun on my head, though, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does Mama have a bun? Yeah. <laughs> so, my birthday card for my girls. And see, here is me with my birthday balloons and my bun on my head. That's what I wear. That's what Abigail, we're having a picnic there. So I've had some birthday blessings today. And even when shopping, Anna went shopping with me today, we saw my friend Cynthia and Tamar and some of their children. And my friend Heather doesn't know it, but I saw her too. But she was zip zapping and driving down the road. But I did see my friend Heather too. So it's been a good, good day for me. Now we're going to sit down and go over these numbers. I've been doing some tallying here, and we'll see where I stand for the month. Okay, guys, let's go over the numbers here real quick. I don't think I did too bad today for all that stuff that I got in there, for it being the, the big haul, you know, the beginning of the month big haul. I think I did pretty good. So, again, we started off with $1,100 a month. Um, those of you that have watched previous videos know that covers all nine of us. And the way that breaks down is each person gets $125 for all of our food and household goods, except for baby girl, the two-year-old. She only gets $100, and that is to cover everything for her for the entire month. So that's how it divides up. And everything that I spent today, 10 box, Aldi, Kroger, and Walmart, came to $361.80, which leaves me, for the remainder of the month, seven hundred thirty eight dollars and twenty cents now out of that money i have an azure standard order uh like i talked about we're going to sam's club this weekend so it'll be all my sam's club items as well and looking at the calendar there are still actually four more weeks of sale items for me to get in this pay period so Today is June 12th. Uh, Sean gets paid on the 10th of each month. So I think we're doing all right. We'll see what the sales are, what I can get, and I'm hopeful. I think we're doing pretty good. So you guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I like seeing the thumbs up on there. No thumbs down. All thumbs up, please. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I have children sneaking around back behind the couch here. So she says she's giving a thumbs up. I don't know what she's doing. Subscribe, please. If you're not subscribed already, we topped 2,500 subscribers today. So that makes me happy too. We like seeing those numbers go up. Even the children love it. And please tell your family and friends to watch Ozark Family Homestead. We really appreciate that. The whole family loves it. Don't you guys? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, we do. Thank you guys so much. Um, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Ozark Family Homestead. Bye.